Hey YouTube, it's me, Kanisha, aka Sister No. And I'm gonna do a quick update. Today is Sunday, March, no, April 6th? I think it's April 6th, something like that. And I wanted to give a quick update. I told y'all I would be uploading a video every week. And so I just wanted to say hey to everybody. Hope everyone's having a wonderful week. You know, Sundays can be a little bit eh, because it's another day of the weekend, but it's like leading right up to Monday. So it's like, oh, hey. So the later Sunday gets, I'm like dread Monday. I know it's so stereotypical, but I do dread Mondays. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, no real updates since last week. I think I mentioned this in my last video, but I did do a photo shoot with my daughter yesterday morning. So as soon as we get those pictures and get them finalized, I'll be posting those uh, a couple of those as soon as I can figure out how to do it. Which I'll make an effort to figure out how to do um, our photos uh, to load them up so you guys can see them. I'm very excited. We did some great shots. Like I said, it was at a park, actually a nice little nature reserve near us, and so we were all up in the woods. Now I'm gonna tell y'all this: I really don't know how to walk in hills. I barely can walk in flats. Okay, but we were in the woods with some pebbled cobs hats and stuff so it was a little bit dangerous a little bit scary but we did it anyway and um i think the pictures are going to be beautiful but i'm very excited because we had some dirt beside a lake we had some just in the woods it was just really nice so um i'll post those whenever we get them i'm very excited um what else is going on that's pretty much it just a couple of things going on that i'm playing i'm in the midst of planning but they're kind of far out like for instance we're planning to go to the beach this summer i'm going to take my daughter so she can go to the beach she hasn't been to the the beach since she was like I say like five or six months old in her first year of life we went to the beach like twice for a couple of reasons one we went to vacation and the second time we went um we went for a friend of her dad's wedding we went to their wedding so we went to the it was a beach wedding so we went there so she would would not remember being even near the ocean the way she was like she actually was in the ocean and got kissed by the ocean but she probably would never remember it at this point but she's four now and I really really want her to go and um just experience that also this summer I think one of my biggest goals is to get her swim lessons my child loves the water I think I mentioned this last week how when we went to the water park it's a um, indoor water park near here and I took I had taken her there like a couple of weeks ago and she enjoyed the water but I was stressed out because my kid does not know how to uh, maneuver water you know a lot of the kids were like <gasps> and go under and she was just like going under and didn't realize okay you can't breathe under there honey and she came up coughing a couple of times so um that made me nervous and i'm thinking like just because mommy has some trepidation about water and swimming and believe it or not in college i passed swimming i did i couldn't swim to save my life in any way shape or form i have trepidation about getting water in my ears i have this phobia about my ears because when i was a kid i had a lot of issues and so the thought of getting water in my ears freaks me out like even the sound of it coming near my ears or whatever freaks me out when i'm washing my hair which i do it in the shower i'm always tilting my head or doing something to keep water from going in and if water gets in my ear when i'm washing my hair you about believe everything goes and I am like, get out, get out. So I have trepidation about water in general getting in my ears and just being underneath it. But I don't want her to have that issue at all. So I think that's one of my goals. And I have been saying that the last couple of years I wanted to get her uh, swim lessons. But I'm really going to make an effort to find a place for her to get swim lessons this summer so she can learn how to swim and, and be comfortable in the water. Because she is a water baby. She's always loved water even as a little, little baby. So that's one of the things I want to do for her this summer. I also want to take her to a zoo. There's a zoo nearby here less than like two hours away. I definitely want her to go there. Um, and I know I mentioned this already. We going to Vegas? Okay, the kid is not going to Vegas, people. Before y'all even ask, the little one is not going to Vegas. Mommy and her sister and a couple of my sister's friends um, are going to Vegas. So it's going to be four of us. And I'm so excited because I haven't been to Vegas in a decade. And even though we went back in a decade... I it was not the best trip, not because of Vegas, but just the circumstances we found ourselves in. Um, the Vegas trip wasn't the best because of just the circumstances, but this time we're excited. We already have booked everything. It's ready. Now we're just setting up our savings for spending money and the such. So I'm very excited about that. And the beach trip I mentioned, like I said, um, it's just an opportunity for me to take my daughter somewhere. I really want her to go somewhere fun, um, definitely. Uh, I want her to have lots of fun this summer just because, you know, She's four and we should have fun, right? <laughs> That's pretty much what's going on right now. Um, nothing else is going on. Um, 
I decided to make a quick video before I clean. This is my cleaning day, really. I, uh, my, my daughter's staying with her grandparents, uh, her father's father and um, his wife and daughter. So it's her grandparents and her auntie. She goes and stays with them a lot. Like They were my biggest support system when my dad was sick and... Um, they're awesome and they they she's used to being over there she has her own room it's like her second home which i'm very excited about because they love her she loves them i love them they're awesome so um that's where she is right now and she's having a blast she did have a cough earlier today because of uh, we were out yesterday in the in the woods taking pictures and then she got to the grandparents house and they took her outside playing in the bicycle but my thing is, is i don't want to limit her like what do you guys think like i don't want to limit her from doing fun things in her life because of her allergies and because of her issues with her skin. So I go out of my way to make sure that she has the proper medication, the proper everything to stay okay with her skin because I'm praying she grows out of this. But she loves the outdoors. She loves swimming. So the chlorine, the chlorine didn't seem to bother her skin at all. You know, after a little while, it did bother certain parts. But for the most part, she was fine in the water, thank God, because she loves it. And then outside with the allergies, it could be that she was outside yesterday today but it also could be because it's just April twice a year my kid breaks out and swells up and everything and you know ironically enough that's when picture day is at school I have pictures of my baby where she's like got allergy issues <laughs> and it's always like it always happens where their their picture day falls on the times that she has allergies so anywho but this time we got the professional shots done I'm gonna to try to do that twice a year the next time we see this photographer will probably be around pumpkin patch time which I'm very excited about but um picture day for school is Friday so I'm gonna dress her up for that day as well so I'm very excited that she's having a good time she's doing well she's adjusting she's very smart she just moved up into the four-year-old classroom at school yay so um, that's pretty exciting and I'm trying to find her a good pre-k program to be enrolled in she did get placed on the wait list for what's called the Montessori schools and I would love for her to be in their pre-k program but I can't take the chance that she won't get a seat so I'm gonna do um, gonna try to find a way to get her into a program just in case she doesn't get a seat in the Montessori program if that's the case okay that's fine we got this plan in place so we're gonna see what we can do about that that's one of my biggest priorities this summer um, is finding her a good program for the fall um, if anybody has any advice about that as well please post down below or you know it message me somehow because um, I, I, I'm trying to figure out my messages here because I'm I watch my YouTube videos on my tablet but I do have a laptop I'll check so send me messages I would love some advice about that because I'm a little concerned about her pre-k program because she's really smart she really needs to be in kindergarten actually but I don't want to push her into something if she skips her grade down the line that's fine but right now I want to make sure she's in a good social environment as well because that can make or break her education as well so I don't want to push her into a kindergarten class that she's not ready for so we're going to put her in pre-k um, a good pre-k program and take it from there um, I hope everyone has a wonderful week I look forward to seeing everybody's updates and videos if you're subscribed to me thank you so much um, if you stuck with me all these years that I've been on YouTube I was looking back at some of my old videos and things have changed a lot for me and I've gone from being having videos about natural hair to my wigs to weight loss, basic vlogs, and now I'm back to basic vlogs. And I don't know what direction my life is going in. I am, um, I am at a point where I'm assessing myself basically, and I'm trying to decide where I want to go. Uh, do I want to go to a weight loss? Uh, in a, into a weight loss program yes I do because my health depends on it as I stated in a previous video I do get health insurance I did get health insurance starting in April that is my beginning because I know I have to do something I don't want a health crisis to like you know stop my world like this is where the world starts for all of us every single day you wake up you have a chance to start something new and be happy I don't want my health to hinder that I just got a decent job I don't want my health to hinder me from going to work my daughter and I are bonding I love my little girl I love hanging out with her I don't want my health to hinder that I love going shopping with my sister and having lunch with her randomly going with my friends I love 
doing things and I don't want my health to hinder that. And up to this point, I took for granted that I'd be able to do everything I needed to. Um, I took care of my dad after a massive stroke and I saw how it was so debil debilitating to him. And I don't want to, that to happen to me either. Um, so I need to get myself together so that at least I have a few more years before something like that happens. I hope it doesn't happen, but I need to take care of myself so that it doesn't. So, um... That means that if I have to lose 10% of my weight, that's what I got to do. I just got to get the first start. Like, I can't even get, uh, my sister has trepidation about me getting a pedicure. I'm, I want my toenails polished, but she's right. She's absolutely right. I go to some place to get my toes done. They snip something wrong, and I'm in trouble. So, she's absolutely right that I've got to get things under control, see a doctor, see what I can do before I try to do what I really want to do with anything like that. So, it's just one of those things it's just it's been on my mind so <laughs> I hope everyone has a wonderful week and I will check back in probably next weekend or I may make a little you know video in the midweek if something comes up but I don't know what direction my videos are going to go in will you see me through a weight loss journey I don't know will you see me continue my natural hair journey I don't know but I'm excited to see what's coming and at the very basics of what you'll see in my videos you'll see vlogs you'll see my life and I'm hoping to actually get a better camera because eh, this is okay my tablet's okay but I think a camera would help me be a little more mobile and show my life and learning how to use some of these editing softwares because even if no one watches my video, if one person watches my video, I appreciate it. I really do, because it's really hard um, to do this. It is, because you're putting your life out there. You're putting yourself out there. You're talking about things that a lot of times your people closest to you don't know about. And so I do appreciate anybody watching my videos and wishing me, my family, any my life well so um but yeah i'm looking into getting another camera so i could do better vlogs and better videos and i'll see what direction they go in <laughs> oh goodness curly hair curly hair yeah my hair under here is doing okay i'll be honest my hair under here is doing really well i wash it i condition it and i braid it up put it under wig or i'll do a bun so my hair is doing well it's just not doing as well as it could if i were really taking care of it but that's a whole nother vlog, people. That's a whole nother vlog. Uh, all right. Have a good good week. See y'all next weekend.